Lord has blessed us to come forward on this day once again just to celebrate the mothers, amen? And just to deal with the situation that was going on right now with the pandemic in the midst of it all, we still can say that God is here, amen? Heavenly Father, we come now in the name of Jesus, thanking you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your love and kindness that you show toward us each and every day. And Lord, as you brought us out on this day, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you the praise. Father, we thank you for every mother, we thank you for every saint that has come forth from this day. We thank you for the blessing, Lord God, that you have given us these unique creatures, Lord God, to bring us into this world and to raise us and to give us insight and understanding in this life. Father, as we get ready to come forward with your word right now, we ask that you would touch every heart, touch every mind, touch every soul and every spirit. Let it be further around. Let it receive the seed of your holy and divine word. And Father, God, I ask that you would touch me right now. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I place myself into your hands to carry out thy holy work and our holy will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. As always, first give an honor to God who is our Father. Jesus Christ who is our Savior and our Redeemer and to the Holy Spirit who is our comfort, our teacher, and our guide. And to all of you who have gathered on this day to give God the glory, the honor, and the praise for another wonderful opportunity. Amen. Amen. So as we come forward at this time, we thank the Lord and we just want you to share with us and share in this word with us as we prepare. Uh, to say a word about our mothers and to our mothers. Amen. And turn with me to the book of Proverbs, chapter 31. Proverbs, chapter 31. And we'll be reading verse 10 today. Amen. Proverbs, chapter 31, and verse 10. And when you have to say amen. Toot your horn, amen. Amen, amen. And the word reads as follows. Who can find a virtuous woman? For a price is far above rubies. And that's, that's the scripture that we have this morning. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. When we look at the scripture, we look at this passage. It's basically a scripture that talks about King Lemuel, and he's recalling a life conversation and a course that he had with his mother uh, regarding the qualities of a virtuous woman. And in the midst of this, uh, she speaks to him, and, and she gives him insight and understanding for his life, being a king and being a, a young man. And so during that conversation, uh, King Lemuel, who some believe to be King Solomon or King Hezekiah, Pierce the pertinent points that his mother presented to him, and he receives advice and answers about the actions and the attitudes and attributes that make a virtuous woman who she is. And so our subject opens this way. It opens by posing a question about her existence. He says, who can find a virtuous woman? In other words, who can discover a woman who is capable, a woman who can locate, a woman who is intelligent, and who can become aware of a woman who is excellent. Our scripture closes with a pronouncement about the quality of her essence. That pronouncement declares, for her price is far above rubies. King Lemuel's reference to rubies in this context is important this morning because it tells us that there's something special about this type of woman. There's something special about this type of mother. It's important because rubies are a symbol of preciousness. They are a symbol of value, they are symbol of glory. And with this statement, Lemuel says that the quality of our essence is more precious than the preciousness of jewels. And he says our value is far above the value of rubies or pearls. And so I know a lot of times we like to search out gems and rubies and diamonds and, and all these wonderful things that we like to wear, but God in his word says a woman of virtue, a mother of virtue is more precious than any diamond, more precious than any jewel, more precious than any ruby. She's more precious than anything on this world and in his world. And so undoubtedly, King Lemuel wondered to himself. He said, Mother, how will I know who she is? And as young men, we all look at this and we say, well, how will I know who she is? We're looking for the one, but how will I know 
who she is. And so if we walk through the scripture, in verses 11 through 29, King Lemuel recalls and he recalls what his mother taught and told him about she actions and attributes of a capable, intelligent, excellent, virtuous woman. Lemuel penned these words. He said, her husband shall have full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. And notice what he says several times. You're going to hear this one word. And that one word is going to stand out as she. He says, she brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships, bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it's still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. She considers a field and buys it out of her earnings. She plants a vineyard. She sets about the work of her hands vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lap does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. He goes on to say this about the virtuous woman. He says, she makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected in the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. You hear us say this, this thing a lot of times, my better half. But God has told us that she's more than just our better half. She's special. She's intelligent. She's wise. She's beautiful. She's knowledgeable. She's all of those things. And that's why the scripture says this. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. But, but we forget one thing about that scripture. It says this also. And favor with God. So my brothers, if you want God on your side, if you want to have the favor of God, Find you a good wife. That's what scripture says. He who finds a wife. Finds a good thing. And favor with God. Scripture goes on to say this. She makes linen and sells them. And supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh all the days to come. She speaks with wisdom. She watches over the affairs of a household and does not eat the bread of idols. Her children, her children arise and call her blessed. Her children arise and call her blessed. And her husband praises her and he praises her in the gate. And it says this in that last scripture, verse 29. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. I want my mothers to hear this this morning. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. And when he says surpass them all, this is what that means. You are beyond what others do. You pass what others do. You exceed what others do. You are higher than what others do. You are the cream. You are the one that is on the pedestal. You are precious. You are powerful. You are peculiar in God's sight. You are the one who God made and created to create all of us. You are the one who God created to create all of us. And so as we close this morning, on this Mother's Day, we acknowledge and recognize all mothers. On this Mother's Day, we take this opportunity to answer and address who she is. When it comes to our blessed and unique mothers, we say this about she. She is someone highly extraordinary. She is someone heaven extended. She is someone having essence. She is someone having heartily embraced. She is someone who is humbly despised. When we say who she is, we say she is someone housing excellence. She is someone hoping earnestly. She is someone helping every day. She is someone healing every day. All of us who are children of God and all of us who have had our mothers know this for a fact. 
She helps us every day. She heals us every day. She lifts us every day. She talks with us every day. She wakes us every day. She feeds us every day. She clothes us every day. And she is the one who tells us, baby, everything is going to be all right. If I got a witness, let me hear a horn. If I have a witness, let me hear a horn. If I have a witness, let me hear a horn. Who is she? She is someone holding everything. She is someone with heightening expression. She is someone harboring, with harboring exploration. And she is someone humanly exclusive. Ain't nobody like our mother. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody like our mother. And so this is who she is. This is who she is. She is God made. She is God maintained. She is God mastered. She is God mentioned. She is God minded. She is God ministered. She is God molded. She is God made. She is God motivated. And she is God moved. Every child of God, all of us today, if we ask somebody, who taught you to pray? The first thing going to come out of our mouth is mouth. Who taught you to love the Lord? Mama did. Who drove you to church on Sunday? Mama did. Who told you you won't need the Lord in a dying hour? Mama did. Who told you to call upon God's name when you need it? Mama did. So who is Mama? Who is Madi? Who is Mama? Who is me, Mama? Who is Mom? Who is Mama? Who is Mommy? Who is Mother did? All of these different names. Who is she? Who is she? She is our mother. She is our mother. And so all of you today, in the midst of everything, whether mother's gone home or whether mother's here today, tell your mother who she is. Tell your mother that she's special to you. Tell your mother that she's your loving embrace. Tell your mother that she's your smile. Tell your mother that she is your strength. Tell your mother that she is your help. Tell your mother that she is everything to you. Always show your mother that you love. And the Bible says this. The Bible didn't say you get up and say good morning to mama. The scripture said when you get up you said, do say these words. You are blessed. That's what you said. Bless you, mama. Bless you, mama. For everything you do for me. For everything you help me with. And even when you're a grown human being, I know this for myself, and I know I have some witnesses, honk your horn, whether you five or fifty, mama will always say, that's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. So who is she? Amen. Give God a hand of praise. Give us a hand of praise.